Hey there, Sagittarius. Hope you guys this week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys so much. I did switch my cards around a little bit. See if we can get some different messages, which we have been getting some today. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. Time out, Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Shyness here. Two more. Ooh, that's in reverse. Childhood love here. One more. Got passion. Love is coming. Take the leap. And we got control at the bottom here. So somebody tried to control something here. And you've clearly broken some kind of shackles here. There's some kind of childhood connection here. And this could be, you know, any type of connection. Don't necessarily have to be love. But there's some kind of like... Something that you've broken from a child here, here that you're completely over with here. And it's like there's something that was controlling you from childhood that you've broken here. Just overall energy for Sagittarius. Thank you. Growth. Expanding your consciousness and your awareness. So th there's really something here that was meant to keep you broken from childhood. But you broke that restriction. You broke some kind of bind here for yourself. Now you're expanding your consciousness and your awareness, beautiful. So keep stepping into your growth. You are a being of love and you release all negative energy. This is about you making peace with your past so it doesn't interrupt the present and the future here. You have very, very, um, very, like a, a lot of inner strength that you have. So you have this inner strength to face fear with confidence. So this is about you continuing being in this peace, continue stepping into your growth. Somebody clearly underestimated how strong you were. There's something here about your childhood I keep getting drawn to that was really meant to, there goes my ear, meant to really keep you stuck in like a limited belief here, but you, you overhurled that and stepped into your growth. Beautiful. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Do what you want to do. This is this high vibing energy. This is about you taking your life back and doing what you love to do and not caring what anybody has to say about your life not needing anybody's validation to make you feel like you're making the right choice this is about you making the right choices for yourself doing what you want to do angels pray for you so you've got a lot of angelic protection around you you guys may resonate as an earth angel a light worker star seed empath but you've got so much protection around you you've been Cast it out in some darkness. You've been through some dark things in your life. And you continued being this beautiful beacon of light. That's beautiful. Somebody wanted you to feel like an, like an outcast. Like you weren't. Somebody wanted you to, to feel not good about yourself. But somebody doesn't feel good about themselves. That's why they try to make you not feel good about yourself. Sagittarius. Balance. Balance living your physical life with your spiritual path. So this is about you having that fine line, you know, doing your day-to-day -day activities, but also stepping into your spiritual growth, balancing out all areas of your life. Beautiful. And then boundaries. I value my time and energy. I spend time with positive people and do things that uplift my soul. So this is about creating these boundaries and enforcing these boundaries and just being around people that want to lift you up, not tear you down. People that want to add to your growth. People that want to add to your peace. Not people that try to take from that. So we're creating firm boundaries here. So a lot of you guys, people have lost control over you because you are now creating these firm boundaries. Good. And then we've got creativity. I am a creative person. I always have the confidence to let my light shine. So this is about you. The more you step into your growth, the more that you're able to tap into your creative side here. Something about you being in touch with your child energy. And there's something here that I am picking up on somebody here that had something happen to them in the childhood. Whether you were raised up in, in poor environments or just unhealthy, toxic environments here. Um, and there's something here about you really tapping into this beautiful creative side after you have released something from your childhood. Okay, so this is about you solving problems with the creative side as well. Letting your light shine no matter what you've been through. There's something about you really gaining your confidence back as well. And, and just being a beacon of light for the world. Beautiful. We need more people like you. Give me a immunology for Sagittarius. Thank you. Your hard work is paying off. Could be done with a Capricorn. Have that in your moon rising Venus or North node. 
So your hard work's paying off in all areas of your life. Continue doing this for yourself. And there's something here about you letting your inner child play as well, I keep getting. Your dreams need a practical plan. Could be done with a Taurus. Have that new moon rising your Venus. So there may be something that you're wanting to do more in your life. And there's something here about you needing some kind of practical plan to get to that. But whatever you're doing right now, it's paying off. But I'm picking up on somebody that still wants more out of life. It's time to take action. Could be done with an Aries. Have that new moon rising or Venus or North Node here. But something about you taking action for yourself. So there is somebody here wanting to come towards you and take some kind of action towards you as well. Because there is some kind of love offer wanting to come its way towards you. And this very well is like past energy is trying to take action towards you as well. Let me dig into this a little more. Tell you about shyness. So this is about opening your heart back up, open to, to opportunities. Could be finances, could be love, it could be both. And be making better connections in general as well. But something here about you taking connections slow. Make sure that people are who they say they are and that you that they add to your growth and your peace, not take from it. Tell you about shyness. Tell you about shyness. Chariot. Somebody wanting to come towards you. So somebody is really ready to, to take some kind of action. And this is also about you taking action to move forward and ready to open up for better connections. And like I said, it doesn't have to be love, but there definitely is a love offer wanting to come your way. Tell me more about shyness, the fool. So somebody is ready to like, somebody is ready just to, to go all in with you. But there's something here about you just moving slow with these connections. Don't rush into these. Make sure that you're just getting to know people here. But somebody is ready just to go all in with you for sure. Let me got man. You got people fighting over you? Did your milkshake bring out a boy to the yard? Make sure you charge in these people. <laughs> Five of Wands. Somebody here is um This is like I don't know, there's something here about not letting someone rush you. It's like because I'm picking up on an energy where somebody is trying to rush you into something here. So just make sure that you're not being rushed. But this is like if you feel like something, like if you're not connecting with somebody or there's just conflict and like, it could, it could be something small and minute, but there's, if there's some kind of conflict that you're feeling with, with somebody here, then you're being called to sever ties with that person. But somebody doesn't want you to have some kind of offer. Somebody is ready to go all in with you. Like somebody like they, they're ready to get married Tuesday. So Somebody is trying to rush you into a contract, but you're being advised to like get to know someone here because somebody here has got some feelings for you. So somebody is ready to open up and express how they feel about you, but man, you're being advised to take things slow. And like I said, any connection that is coming towards you at this time, take it slow. Talking about this childhood. So this is about you breaking free and, and standing in your independence from any type of connection here that you have had even from childhood. And there's something here about you being independent and not depending on someone to make you feel important. Cause I'm picking up on codependency, abandonment issues, and it stems from childhood. So there's, there was a lesson of needing to be learned to be able to stand 10 toes on your own and embrace change, embrace the growth, making peace with your past here. But you definitely have stepped into this independence here. That's good. That you could have um, had somebody that you had a childhood love that could have like left a bad taste in your mouth. Again, this is about not depending on someone to make you happy here. So some of you guys could have dated somebody from your childhood, and you are clearly over this connection for sure. You are definitely in this beautiful growth energy, and everything around you is like following to suit. You look good, you feel good, and everything, like I said, follows into suit here. Tell me more about childhood love. Tower. So there was definitely a tower moment that taken place. And it stems from childhood. There's some kind of foundation that was rocked, something that was that crumbled apart for you, and you have been building yourself back up here. There's something here about a release that you've given yourself from childhood, and it's like it is like definitely paved the way for some significant changes in your life because you let go of something from your childhood. I keep getting that. So there could have been some kind of spell work done on you since childhood. Something about your passion, your creative side back up and running here because you've released some kind of inner child healing that you need to do for yourself. So beautiful. Keep doing your inner work here. Somebody didn't want you to evolve and grow. Some of you guys had some kind of toxic mother. Something about a mother figure that was um, 
something about you releasing that as well. But there's something here about you drawing these new beginnings towards you because you're evolving, you're growing, and you're releasing something from your past. And like I said, it's something to do with your childhood here. So this is about taking inspired action, realizing that you can do whatever you put your mind to. So this is about giving yourself that self-confidence, that creative energy here. Somebody was under some heavy spell work here. And somebody didn't expect for you to take action on your life here. So this is like, like a major milestone in someone's life here by releasing something here from your childhood. Tell me about passion. Somebody got some passion for you. So somebody's stressing, worrying. Somebody is fearing this passionate, creative side that you have now. And somebody's got some kind of passionate feelings for you. And somebody is... Somebody did everything they could to try to stunt your growth, too, I keep getting. Somebody did everything they could to try to bind you and stop you from tapping into this creative energy that you clearly are in right now. Hmm. Tell me more about passion. So somebody here sees that something is still coming your way. Somebody looks at you as very passionate. Somebody wants to work with you. And somebody really did everything they could from your past to stop something, to stop something about your passionate, creative side flowing. So there's something here about the way that you are that you have stepped into your growth and the passions that you have for life is like drawing better things towards you. And definitely a love partner here as well. There's definitely somebody that is like, somebody wants to come towards you. Somebody is mad because you didn't give up on yourself. This is about walking away from things that were meant to, to keep you stuck and, and limit, lim, limitless energy. Like not being able to manifest for yourself. So somebody's mad that you're able to walk away and do better and like your passion is ignited that much more. So somebody here still looks at you with the passionate eyes. Somebody still looks at you as commitment material. Somebody wants to like commit to you. Somebody views you as very passionate, very creative. Someone sees your growth. They see everything. So there's something here about not letting... Um, Something here about not letting anger get in the way as well as I'm getting. There's something here about no longer holding on to any anger or resentment from the past as well. There's something here about your passionate side like really amped up because you released something here. Somebody did everything they could to try to hold you back from going towards better things. And you are moving your life on to these, these really good times that you got coming towards you. Now it's time to enforce boundaries because somebody is trying to come back here and use some kind of passion to try to get back into your energy as well. Tell me about love is coming. So there's better things coming. <laughs> some of you guys have more than one person wanting to head your way. So it's that milkshake. It's milking. It's shaking. It's milkshaking. I didn't sound right. Oh, well. <laughs> so somebody did everything in their power to stop somebody from coming towards you as well. Looks like a lot of people fighting and bickering. Or you just got some suitors headed your way here. You got love coming. And somebody from your past is trying to create some kind of conflict to stop something from coming your way. Tell me more. The world. So somebody could be at a distance from you. Somebody tried to create so much distance between you and this love person. That this person that's meant to come your way. Something about you closing cycles out and letting new cycles open up for you now. So somebody here looks at you as a wish fulfillment. Some of you guys have wish fulfillments coming in. Posting things in the public eye here. Somebody tried to, to get rid of a, a person for you. Somebody didn't want you to have something here. Somebody could be well known or just well known in their community here. So somebody's jealous of some kind of love headed your way. Somebody really wanted to get in the way of that. Well, somebody's burdened because somebody is still headed your way. And this is because you've dropped down, you've dropped your burdens and baggage from past connections and you've laid that to rest and it, it helped you step into your growth, your passion more. Somebody still wants to invest into you. Somebody looks at you as loving, nurturing, empathetic, gifted, psychic for some of you. Someone sees that you're not letting anyone just have access to you as well. And well, somebody here just looks at you in very loving, loving eyes. As somebody here wants to be part of your destiny, a lot of you guys, this person coming towards you is part of your destiny. There's something about the changes that you've been making has been lining you up with this person. And somebody is wanting to come towards you and present something to you. Could ask you on a date, could gift you something, but somebody is wanting to present something towards you. Time out, take the leap. 
So this is somebody here that is wanting to take a leap towards you. Somebody is really wanting to express some kind of emotions towards you now. Somebody is at a distance from you. Like somebody is like feels like they had to move mountains in order to get to you, but boy, they're moving them. And this is about you becoming more emotionally aware as well. This is about you taking a leap for yourself and not letting anything from your past manipulate you back into a, an old cycle as well. Tell me more about take the leap. This is about moving your life on. Somebody is ready to move their life on with you to calmer times. This is a new person here. Somebody didn't expect for you to move mountains. Like, you've had a lot of past energies do everything they could to try to play, place obstacles in front of you. And you kept overcoming these challenges and you're moving away. And I'm telling you, there's somebody new here that is moving mountains to try to get to you. I keep getting that as well. With sun. So something here is being illuminated. And this is about you seeing things for what it is in your life and, and trusting yourself and moving forward. Somebody tried to hold you back and somebody's trying to hold you on, hold on to you. Somebody's tired of holding back from you and they're ready to come in here and present something to you. So, and then you also have past energies trying to come back and apologize or extend some kind of emotional gesture towards you because somebody knows that they can't block something off for you anymore. And this is about not being in denial as well. Trusting yourself, making the right choice for yourself and then taking that leap. Somebody wants to have a conversation with you. And somebody is mad because they couldn't end something here. Somebody's mad the way that you're detaching from them and you are leaving something done for. And they're mad. They, they didn't want you to move those mountains that they put in front of you and you moved them. And like I said, someone is trying to move mountains to get to you too. Tell me about control. Someone thought they had you controlled. Someone thought they had you stuck at a crossroads and you were clearly going down the right path for you. Somebody wanted you to have no self-respect, which you clearly have all kinds of self-respect for yourself. Somebody's mad that they can't trap something here. Somebody's at a distance. He's holding that world here. Tell me more. Five of swords, man. This is someone that did everything in their power to try to control your life, and you took your, your life back. So this is somebody that's mad. This is someone that feels defeated because they, they couldn't stop something for happening for you still. It's still happening. Someone tried to control by keeping you stuck in, in past connections here. And someone tried to control this connection that's clearly coming towards you still. Somebody wants to present you an offer. There could be new partnerships and finances, love, or both here. But someone couldn't control this. There's still some kind of loyal, stable offer coming your way. Somebody is ready to, to come in here and, and, and have victory with you. And someone thought that they really controlled your life. But this is like a very selfish energy that thought for sure that they had you stuck with like not having self-respect. You're moving towards your victory no matter what here. And somebody wants to come in here and like something here about wish fulfillments with a lover, finances, and both for somebody here. So you've had family members try to control something, friends, friend groups, and definitely past love connections that did everything in their power to stop some kind of union that's meant to take place here. And this is like two people that's got their finances together. So somebody's mad that you're still receiving something here. I've got water, cancer, Aries, earth, Scorpio, air, fire, water, earth, fire, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, water, air, fire, and air here. So... Somebody can mad that they couldn't control this true love here. This true love still wants you. And somebody's mad. So someone's mad that you broke the shackles that were meant to keep you stuck. So somebody feels like you're worth the wait. Something here about past life connections. You could have already um, dealt with some kind of past uh, past life connections and right now. And you have learned everything from those. And there's some kind of past life union that's meant to take place. And somebody feels like something... Like, you're worth the wait. Somebody wants you still. So, somebody wants to try to come in here and take you out on a date. Some of you guys have gave up dating for now. And you've been releasing and letting that go. That's why this better person's coming in. Some of you guys hung up your dating hat for a while. Somebody wants to try to come back from your past that you have released and let go and trying to get you to go out on a date with them. This is unrequited. This unrequited love is getting in the way of a better connection for yourself. Some of you guys were married to these unrequited love connections here. But somebody wants to get to know you. Somebody's got faith. 
This is because you have kept faith in yourself. That's why better things are coming in. And somebody wants to like, somebody wants to get to know you. Somebody wants to take your hand. And of course, we got a past person trying to come in here and fix something now. It'd be like that. Sagittarius, I've also said Gemini, so that Gemini could be significant for someone here. Sagittarius, red flags, lies, deception, bad intentions. This is what stopped you from stepping into your growth here. So you've had a lot of uh, things try to come up against you, and you've been breaking free from all of that. Good. Tell me more. Someone could have tried to slander you and gossip about you with that five of wands is sticking out to me. So someone really tried to like use a lot of lies and deception and try to create some kind of conflict for this love for coming towards you, but it's still coming. So we've got following the signs, signs and synchronicities. You're not alone. So this is about trusting your journey, embracing this growth, making peace. You could be seeing repeated numbers, animals. You could be hearing songs. Just make sure you're paying attention to that. So someone here wanted to wanted you to feel rejected. Someone tried to cut something off from coming towards you. Someone never gave you lack of closure and somebody's trying to come back now after they didn't give you closure and somebody's mad that you're not leaving them behind because this, you've outgrown someone here. And then we've got a twin flame connection. Some of you guys have dealt with your twin flame. Some of you guys have not met your twin flame. Somebody may want to use titles to keep you stuck here, but your twin flame is literally you. Don't let titles keep you stuck. Reading between the lines, seeing the truth clearly. This person that's wanting to come towards you, they can see the truth clearly of who you are, who you mean to them. And this is about reading between the lines with anybody that tries to come towards you. Because somebody's trying to rush you into something. Okay, so some of you guys may have a, someone else come in before this other person is coming in. And like, there's a reason why somebody's trying to rush you into something here. Because you're meant to go with someone else here. So that's for someone. But reading between the lines and not letting anybody rush you. So calling in your soul tribe, attracting your right tribe. You have filled some kind of soul contracts with the past and now it's ready to open up for new contracts here. Somebody feels like something's hard to figure out. Somebody feels like you're hard to figure out. Well, the more that you step into your growth and the more that you're at peace, the harder you are to figure out because somebody can't manipulate you with like, with like old traumas and triggers like they once were able to. And we've got narcissistic energy here. Someone could have painted you out as a narcissist. Something about no longer entertain these superficial relationships. Somebody likes to live in illusion. Someone tried to create illusion about you. Somebody's definitely at a distance. There's something foreign. Like these past connections are foreign to you. There's something about you beginning your journey. There's some kind of long distance relationship here. Somebody is willing to move mountains to get to you. Miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. You have luck on your side. Somebody here realizes that you have this self-control and you're not phased by what was trying to um, get in the way of your growth, your journey. And something here about you releasing some kind of inner child. Something about you releasing something from your childhood I keep getting. So you're not... You're no longer affected by negative energy anymore. Tell me more. You're the rising star. Somebody has some kind of recognition already. I keep getting that. So you've got a favorable outcome. And this is about, you know, being in this joyful energy and embracing your transformation and continuing to move forward here. So something here about having to give up old things like when we want a new life we have to give up old things in our life so that's what I'm getting off of this card is like you're like giving up your old life to step into this new life here and because you did your work by stepping into your growth and being this beacon of light it is now your turn to receive something here and of course the past is going to try to return of course it'd be like that some of you guys are returning home with somebody that you're meant to be with from a past life too so we've got ocean of tears so somebody here is all over the place. Someone here knows that they didn't win something here. Someone tried to do everything in their power to defeat you. Someone didn't want you to have something here. And now somebody wants to try to come back and try to cry their way back into your life. That could be this energy trying to, to rush you back into a connection with them. Because somebody knows that someone else is headed your way. And you've got this beautiful Venusian energy. So somebody looks at you as beautiful, graceful. 
beautiful on the inside and out, kind-hearted. And you've had energies that were jealous of that. You've got two hearts falling in love. The feeling is mutual, equal effort. Somebody wants to put effort in with you, and then you are a born healer. So no wonder people trip over you. Someone didn't want you to step into your full growth because you are a born healer. You have some beautiful shamanic lineage, and you're awakening to who you are. And someone tried to stop you from seeing who you were, and someone is awakening to who you are in general as well. That's this energy that wants to move mountains to come towards you. We are in the year of dragons, so we are, you know, we're reaping our karma. It depends on how you lived your life. It can be good or bad, but you've got good karma coming in. Somebody could be born in the year of a dragon. Sagittarius. Somebody thinks you're special. Yeah, they do. Somebody's willing to move mountains to come towards you, man. And then the past wants to try to come back and act confused like they didn't know what they did wrong because somebody knows that someone's coming your way. So somebody's not, this new energy is not confused about who you are anymore either because someone was like really fed a bunch of bull crap about you, but somebody's looking through the confusion now. So you've got these new doors ready to open up, new experiences, beautiful new opportunities coming in for you. It's finances, love, and it's all areas for somebody. You're getting all of that. Look at you leveling up. Beautiful. So somebody wants to come chase you down. This is somebody who wants to move mountains for you. Who is this person? They want to move mountains for you. They want their earth angel. And then you've got past people that are mad because they lost their earth angel. So earth angels are protecting this connection as well. So this is past energies wanting to try to chase you down. And like I said, you got a new person that wants to move mountains for you. So you're leveling up, making money financially stable. We've got some eyes watching you. So your past energies could be driving past your house. As you got a new person that's observing you and watching to see if you got anybody else here. And there we got ghosted again. So somebody tried to get someone else to ghost you. Somebody's mad that by them ghosting you, these past connections, that it doesn't affect you anymore. And somebody's mad that you are now ghosting them. Somebody's got some money issues. Somebody knows that you're getting ready to, to come into something good here financially. Somebody is mad because their finances are not doing well or somebody's finances could could not, um, they could be depleted because of someone new coming your way. Somebody's focused on your finances here. Reading between the lines. Make sure you're seeing things for what it is. Somebody wants to try to take you on vacation. That's this person that wants to move mountains for you. Somebody wants to like, take you somewhere past energy could be trying to fill your head with a bunch of nonsense just to try to get you back and there's like i keep getting there's somebody here that is wanting to try to rush you into something and it's i keep getting that somebody is not meant to be like there's someone else coming and someone wants to fill your head with a bunch of nonsense meanwhile you got this person over here wanting to move mountains for you and then you got a past person trying to get back into your life what you got going on so somebody wants to take you on vacation Somebody wants to come in here and have access to you. Somebody wants to take you out on a date. And this show off is trying to figure out how to get you to open your heart open. So that could be the past person wanting to tell you that they're going to take you all these places and do all these wonderful things for you. They're just trying to rush you back into something. That's why they're doing that. This person's a show off. Somebody tried to say that you were already involved. So somebody really tried to, to create some kind of drama for you. Somebody's heartbroken. Somebody's going to be heartbroken when they see this new person come in for you as well. Somebody's heartbroken because you got the door closed. And this person that's moving mountains is hoping that you don't have the door closed on them because they're ready to come get you. So, all right. Sagittarius. Somebody fake busy. Somebody be acting like they got their life together, but they're too busy trying to, you know, tear yours down. Somebody is not doing good financially. Somebody acts like they got their life together like somebody is pretending so just make sure you're using your discernment tell me more somebody have a workplace affair some of you guys could have met some of your um love past love through work someone could have said that you were sleeping around with somebody at work too but there's some kind of workplace affair tell me more and somebody tracking you Somebody is really trying to keep a close eye and see what you got going on at this time. Sorry, guys, my son's home. So somebody is definitely tracking you, trying to see what you got going on here. 
could be a police officer. Somebody could work in the police department. Some of you guys have police officers following you. Hmm. So somebody's trying to track you. Some of you guys could have a restraining order on some of your past people here. Somebody's been coping, drinking, trying to forget you. And somebody was hoping that you was going to fall into old coping techniques. And you clearly have not. Tell me more. Somebody could have hoped that you was going to get a DUI. Somebody could have got a DUI here. Somebody might have like a track record of having DUIs. Somebody is trying to create some kind of illusions. So somebody here is a trickster energy trying to mess with you still. Tell me more. Somebody got a firestorm for trying to come for you. Karma. So somebody's getting a big old dose of karma for trying to mess with you. A lot of you guys are walking karma. If you're an earth angel, earth angels deliver karma to people. So somebody's having a mental breakdown because somebody wanted you to have losses and endings, but you ain't having nothing. You're going towards your beautiful things for yourself and somebody's upset because of this. Somebody still has feelings for you too. So somebody's mad that something is still balancing out in your favor. There's some kind of legal issues. Somebody knows that these scales are balancing back out in all areas of your life and somebody's upset that they are getting hit with some things here. And you're saying goodbye. So it's like when you move away from connections, that karma really sets in for people here. And you are living in the moment, doing you, getting back out there, dating, stress-free, setting goals, career-focused. And somebody sees you in this happy energy and this person's ready to move mountains. This new person, I keep getting directed over here with this new person. And somebody is trying to use some kind of shady energy to try to keep you trapped. And I feel like they've already been doing this and you, you got out of that trap. And now somebody feels like crap. Somebody knows that something is still turning out for you. Somebody wants to try to make you feel feel like crap because you're no longer, like, you're fed up with somebody. And they want to try to make you feel bad for that. Don't let them do that. That's why you need to enforce these boundaries. Somebody's got some secrets here. Somebody's credit could be, like, somebody's credit could be bad. Someone could have made your credit bad. Somebody is worried about their finances falling apart. And it has to do with you. Just make sure people are who they say they are because you could have someone coming towards you that is not got their stuff together here. Somebody has definitely created some kind of secrets. Somebody's effed up over you now. Somebody is still having some kind of toxic lifestyle here. If you had entertained this type of lifestyle, you, you let that go. That's part of your growth. And somebody's effed up because you're not entertaining this, this lifestyle anymore. Somebody's shocked. Somebody's shocked that everything is still going your way after everything that was meant to take you out. I'm telling you, there's somebody here that wants to move mountains for you. I keep getting that. I keep getting redirected to that. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. You're doing your best, and that is enough. Any difficulties you face will not last forever. Release the thoughts and feelings that don't feel good. Focus all your energy on love, happiness, and your hopes and dreams. Those difficult times will pass. Nothing bad lasts forever. The sun will shine again. The birds will sing and the clouds will clear. And you will be glad you kept moving forward. You will you will soon be rewarded for your patience. Hold on. You are far stronger than you think. Make today your new beginning. Try to leave any past mistakes in the past. Don't allow them to weigh you down in any longer. Move forward today with the confidence knowing that you have had better and brighter days ahead. Where you are right now is where you're supposed to be. Don't compare yourself to others. That only adds to pressure. Take each day as it comes and for what it is. You are a better person than you were yesterday. Growth isn't easy, but you've got this. And you do. You've definitely been stepping into your growth, so continue stepping into your growth. But you got somebody here that's ready to move mountains for you. And you've got past energies trying to figure out how to get back into your energy here because they couldn't stop something, so they're still going to try to... Somebody knows you got some kind of financial gain coming towards you. I keep getting that as well. All right, beautiful Sagittarius, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.